it would help if you accepted who you have become. And you have become something. You've become something more today than you were yesterday. And it doesn't matter what you might have done yesterday, even if you screwed up something or if you had a great success, whatever it was, you discovered something. You gained more wisdom. You gained more knowledge. And that is something that is within you, which has given you worth and value. So that's why it would be helpful for you to accept that. Many times when we go through things that are challenging and difficult, we don't accept that because we're embarrassed or we have a little bit of shame or whatever it might be. Not understanding that that information, that experience that we had gave us this wisdom that we could give back to others. But we could also give it to ourselves because now we're understanding how, our, how important we are, why we are in the world. And I'm saying it would be, it would help now because our world is going through an evolution. And so every individual who is alive is making a contribution. And that contribution is within the individual. Meaning, if you're going to decide to love yourself, you're going to put a different energy into the world that's going to be really helpful in terms of changing things. And then changes your life. And if you accept that, collectively the world starts to become better now we don't always come to that acceptance because i didn't and that's why i talk about this because it was so challenging for me to accept who i was when you think about certain concepts that have de developed over the years one is is individuation and i many people have used it but i love using the idea that came from carl jung and if you think about science we know that we have to introduce new elements to create anything that's how we develop things that's how technology is developed we're always putting in different elements but the world is created that way as well meaning that every single person born has something to offer otherwise they wouldn't be born they wouldn't be on the earth but when we have too many people who don't accept who they are who don't understand their importance who aren't willing to move through their blockages their limitations then we can't create a different world that we want to have and there's certain people throughout history that have a great impact on how our world is created and I've met many, of, I've met a few, as a matter of fact, and when I was 15 years old, I got to hear Dr. Martin Luther King speak. That impacted me so much because I'm thinking, how could one person decide that he was going to make this difference? And actually, he didn't even decide that. He was kind of moved into it. Sometimes that happens as things occur in our world. We just find ourselves moving in new directions that we didn't expect. We can see that now when with the war in Ukraine and Zelensky and all of that. We've all seen it. But then today, Harry Belafonte died. And it hit me personally because he was another one who made such a great difference in our world, who wanted to bring awareness to, to all people. That's who he was. But I had a personal connection because I was good friends with his wife, um, his widow now, um, back in 1979. And it's also one of the times that I almost died. I, I've spoken of many of these things. I've almost died several times. But at that time, I was staying in her apartment while they were traveling, and um, there was a fire. And I was on the third floor apartment. There was no way to get out. I was, I was terrified, didn't know what I was gonna do. My cat jumped off the balcony. I couldn't do that, we were on the third floor. And I had to crawl down three flights of stairs in the dark, holding on, trying to find, I, I, com you get completely disoriented when you're in a fire, you don't know where you are. And so I had to grab on to the railing, which some of them was, was hot at that time, to crawl my way downstairs to come out into the open. And to tell you how grateful I was to still be alive it is an understatement. But it also got me to recognize that we don't have that much time to not own who we are, to not live the lives that we're supposed to have, because that's all of us. But there's a process that we go through, and it's called using our consciousness, raising our consciousness, and it's a daily practice that we would have to go through. And every day, moving through something that has been limited within us, because that's always the case, we come in with DNA from other folks from our parents, we pick that up or we learn it as we live. And then we have to uncover that and let go of it if we hope to live the lives that we want to have to make the contribution that every person is supposed to make to the world, every single one, 
That's the only way we can do it, is if we start to accept that and understand what it is. But I'm talking about it now because we're going to move through a few more things in our world that are going to look a little distressing, possibly. But they have to, see, because we can't change anything that we're not seeing, that we're not looking at, that's within us and that's within the world. If we keep putting on blinders, which I've done for many, many years. If I put on blinders, I can't see what's going on. So maybe I don't have to change anything. That never works and it never goes away. See, because I know that every single person has something within them that they're supposed to manifest that's going to cause them to be happy and live a great life. It's going to make a contribution to the world. But you got to move through all the old stuff all your doubts, all your fears, and all your judgments. That's usually the biggest one because I had so many of them because I, I looked at why am I having all these terrible experiences? Why am I going through all this bad stuff? And I thought I was being punished. I judged myself. I went through all of that. I know now that's not the case. I was given something to move through so that I could give something back to others and every person has that ability. Most people, a lot of people won't go through anything challenging. It looks like their lives are completely different. That's probably not true, but that's the way it might appear to us because we have limited perception about absolutely everything. But we're going to see more of these changes, which is why I'm talking about it, because I want you to understand what's happening so you can decide to love yourself and move through all of your old stuff. Because, see, that's why when you accept who you have become, because you have evolved in some way. Maybe you haven't seen it, but you have evolved. But when you accept that, you will add different energy to the world. We understand this now through quantum um, mechanics and, and, and physics. We understand how everything is created, our bodies and our world energetically. And the quality of the energy is what determines everything. It what determines what shows up in our lives and what determines what shows up in our world. So that's why it would help if you would accept who you have become. I haven't done anything like this. It's increased the confidence that I've had in myself. Everything is better. I mean, every every single aspect of my life. My income, the progress is just amazing. Like you can see changes from week to week. Introducing your last development program, Life Transformation for Success, the newest part of Roger Burnley's coaching series. In this three-month online program, you will learn the mindset tools you need to dissolve the shame of your past, discover the gifts within you that make you important to the world, and get the confidence to rise above anything that stands between you and the life that you want. Everything changed in my life. Everything. Every single thing. It's time for you to reprogram your mind for success and become self-actualized. If you're ready to transform your life too, learn more at yourlastdevelopmentprogram.com today.